coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Today we've got a fun little clash in the AFC as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway from Miami. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Well, Mahomes finding his burner, Hardman, for the KC first. Hey, 43, 43, 15. He'll look to throw. Locates Hardman for another catch. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And shutting the tackle, and now some room. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Here now, third and a yard. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. He'll buy some time right. And he is caught. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. They'll run for the first time with Jarek McKinnon. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Attack, attack! Pacheco gets it up the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 24. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down, it would appear. Yes, he does by a full yard. They get the conversion on fourth and two. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the seven-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Zero 
They'll run here with Pacheco. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Mahomes going to throw. Steps away. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second, and finally points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. George Karloftis, the man to bring him down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. It's fourth down. They'll go, HN. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight yard pickup on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. HN here, they stay on the ground. And he's gonna be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Now left side, a completion is tied in. 158 left to play to we hit halftime. Two and now on first down. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Hachin. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Tua setting up shop to throw again. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Leo Chanel, and the Chiefs are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Just inside of a minute left, Charles. They got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. 
there's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. A dump down to McKinnon. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Mahomes now to throw. A dump down to McKenna. The result only four yards there on the play. And 38 now. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing is Mahomes on third. That's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. We welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better and maybe they're starting to make some headway. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. A nine-yard pickup, just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and one. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Meanwhile, to his throw, complete there to Berrios. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 27 yards there, first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. 
On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. The running game's played a huge part of getting him down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone. Keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brung you. Here's Mostert. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. On second down, Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And ho, oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Jason Sanders has to kick off for Miami. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them, melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Now a second and six. Attacking, attack. Play action. Now it's Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. Oh, and that is incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Third and short, McKinnon. Short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. But once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now Gray. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancer for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. A handoff now for Pacheco. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscle all over the field and getting pushed down it. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 
Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Back to throw, Mahomes. Open man is Fordson. He's got it. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 33. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. To throw is Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know at this point they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And they will take a knee here. on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. They'll try and run with Pacheco. second half but their first half output that's enough to carry them to victory and that's an odd game to watch isn't it because when we saw the 